former San Diego Chargers head coach Marty Schottenheimer has died at the age of 77. He was in hospice care in Charlotte, North Carolina after a long battle with Alzheimer's. Marty Schottenheimer led four franchises in 21 seasons, becoming the eighth winningest coach in NFL history. Our own Kyle Krasko is there for every step of the way in Schottenheimer's tenure here in San Diego and he joins us live. Kyle, I know you were here when Marty started back in 2002. So from a reporter's perspective, mm -hmm. interviewing the coach and watching him on the sidelines, what was that like for you? I couldn't wait to interview Marty Schottenheimer. Uh, he had such a command when he entered the room, uh, such a presence, and I, there was nothing I looked forward to more than interviewing Marty Schottenheimer. Yeah, we, we really started with the Chargers around the same time. Uh, I had just been hired to host a radio show, uh, The Charger Insider, and Marty was my first guest on the show, and I remember telling him, hey, Marty, we're starting this new venture together and he said well Kyle let's hope we're we're both around for a long time <laughs> of course Marty's tenure here only lasted five years and he was unceremoniously fired after the 2006 season a season in which the Chargers went 14 and 2 but lost in the divisional round to the New England Patriots and I know a lot of fans here still remember that and rue the day that Marty Schottenheimer was fired because they really thought Marty could potentially take this team to a Super Bowl championship and who knows that could have changed the course of history here in San Diego. Had the Chargers won the Super Bowl, maybe there's a stadium. Maybe the Chargers are still here in San Diego. But I'll tell you what, I was so sad to hear of the passing of Marty today. I just adored the man. I adored working with him. I loved his whole attitude. He cared about his players, but he cared about them and their families. He often asked us media people, how are you doing? How's your family? He was a great human being, and uh, I'm going to miss him dearly. Yeah, Kyle, you touched on that. You know, coaching, it's a lot more than just X's and O's. More importantly, it's probably those relationships. Uh, what did you see with that, with, with Marty Schottenheimer? What kind of difference did he make as a man to the players on his team? Yeah, he, he got it. You know, he got it that it just wasn't about the football, that it was about the person. And if you listen to or read any of the social media uh, clips today from guys like Drew Brees saying, you know, what he did for me personally is what I'll remember the most. I reached out to Donnie Edwards, whose tenure here in San Diego with the Chargers really mirrored that of Marty Schottenheimer 2002 to 2006. Uh, he was out of town. I, I was hoping Donnie would come on the air with me, but he told me, he says, you know, what, what he meant to me as a football player and more importantly as a person is what I care about the most. And it just goes to show you because it was his love of family, his love of his own family. Marty often would say, I love the game of football. I love coaching football more than anything except the love I have for my wife, Pat. He loved his wife so much. They were married 53 years, two children, four grandchildren. He loved his family so much, and that showed in the way that he coached. Marty Schottenheimer, we lost a legend at the age of 77 to a disease that too many people are all too familiar with, and that's Alzheimer's. Kyle, thanks.